And I'll save it for seven days. Okay, I can download it before then. <coughs> okay, well now we hang out. Everything's fine audio-wise, so... Um... Ooh, wait. I was gonna play, play online just for a minute, just to show Dizzy off and get warmed up. Because you're obsessed with playing online. Yeah, whatever. You should try streaming on Discord too at the same time. Oh, true so facts, actually. If yeah. If that like fucks something up. Just let me know if it's <laughs> good. It seems fine. Go into training mode. Um. It seems fine on both. Like it, you, it seems to handle both fine. Uh, well, it seems good then. Do like, do like Imperial Ray. Is it fine? Yeah, it's perfectly fine. Okay. You love mix. Yeah. This aroma theme is playing. That's hype. Did you actually put? I yeah, put the aroma theme. I like the song. It's good. I figured it'd be too like noisy. I mean, I have it quiet. I can make it quieter. I'll, be, I'll make it a little bit quieter. No, it's in fine. The back. It's back. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, so. Who is L S? I don't know. I just do. Got. I got a channel. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the to the dizzy dizzy stream. Dizzy. The video quality is slightly better on Twitch than Discord, that's fine. It's just Discord making it shitty. It is not my problem, really. Press your biggest button. My biggest button? No thanks. I'm not gonna press 5D. Switch That's true. This guy might be the next go hero. Yeah, he's pressing JH, that's for sure. You know what would make this less than body? What? No, what is he? You know what, what, what? What if you had wide chibi? If I had what? Wide chibi? That'd be pretty wide cool. Chibi. You're right. Oh, he dodged that. That's kind of crazy. This dude's like a professional, like not blocking it. Yeah, that's how lossal players are. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he did the neutral tech thing. That's good. Ugly asshole color. I'm gonna be honest. I don't mind it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like it brown. It's like I can, I can, I can, I can, um, I can set my Discord stream to 30 FPS and, and maybe it'll be smoother. If it sucks. After this set. I'm getting hit. I'm just, the pop-up on my phone Discord came up, and I won't. And I, I can't get it to go away. <laughs> so I was actually like flapping my phone for that entire round start. <laughs> no, you just suck. Yeah, you I just, just suck. True. You just suck. Oh, just this, suck. this this is the dizzy mentor. I got time raved. Go away. Okay, I'm just gonna close Discord and reopen it. That's fine. Yeah, I, I, I need no, no more distractions. No more. No more distractions. Oh, <laughs> I'm so embarrassed that I've ever lost to you in bracket. How, how, how did I lose to this? you? You beat me in bracket usually. No, I beat you in bracket once. I swear to God, you beat me in bracket more than I've beaten you in bracket. No, no. You, this is actually like that thing where people like negatively, like, you're like, like, you know what I'm saying? Where they like, you, you treat your losses matter more to you than your win. <laughs> yeah. I'm like ego field now. We, you have beaten me in bracket like both. <laughs> Let me fix you, this Discord stream. More. You've done it more. This should be a little better, hopefully. Both times where there was like the uh, like the big, the giant, like the online tournament that you got really high placings, you beat me in bracket. Well, maybe that means maybe that means zero. You're the key. 
Yeah, you know, you're beating me and Ratchet, finding your yeah. throw. No, it wouldn't work with Reefsura. And then you also beat me and Ratchet that one time when my, I got upset with my dad. Okay, well, that was like fake. I think a lot of people have that one player where it's like, if they beat them, they play high as hell. Yeah. Like for me, it's usually if I beat Soup, I'm placing like top four. If I beat Blitz, that means I'm getting first because. Oh wow. This guy's godlike. Because Blitz is always one keeping me from getting first place. So therefore. Oh nice, that was good. For me, every time it's been like I beat Soup, <laughs> then I fight like a top tier player, and then I pop off. That's good. Maybe the key is beating up the player. Maybe you should leave me alone. Okay, no more fancy looking. I'm just gonna kill him. Oh, what the hell? I, I don't understand why that happens to me so often anymore. Die. He sucks. Oh, did he sucks. Oh, did he sucks. Right now. They don't learn. Don't learn. It was less than one. Dizzy sucks. I literally ping Evelyn. Oh, true. With that. I, I gotta beat me. I got owned. <laughs> you suck. You're quite dummy. I'm not good at this matchup. I'm not good at this matchup. You're gonna get hit by missiles and then. Cry. I'm gonna cry. Cry Massive. big real tears. Yeah. <laughs> real tears. Thank God for Robokai being heavy. No, don't thank God for Robokai being heavy. Good for me. <laughs> he should not be heavy. Hey, good for me too. Uh, just don't play soul. Yeah. I think you should probably um, know. <laughs> it's actually okay, because soul Robokai is Ow. like 1 billion zero. Yeah. You're not gonna block this, you're not gonna lay a cup either. If yeah. Robokai was a good character, and wasn't like really shitty, you know how much people would complain about Robokai Randomos? Yeah. Has anyone ever thought about I complain about Robokai Randomos already. Yeah, I also okay. complain about Robokai Randomos. But how did you get hit by missiles? Just... Ow! It's not gonna kill the missiles. It did. I lied. Okay, Chris Fish. The GOAT. Hello, Tone7 in my chat. My Twitch chat. Where do I ban this guy? I can ban this don't guy. Ban that, don't ban that guy. I don't think I can do it. I can ban this guy. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ban you. Well, I actually can't. You can't? Okay. I actually, well, I don't know how you ban. I, you might, I, I clicked on his name it. on my phone and said ban in big letters. Okay, I don't have that. I don't have that. No, wait. I, I, I don't know. I can't ban people actually. That's fine. Just tell no, me if anyone like no, bad. I can't. Okay, I can't. never mind. You just, just ban people on site if they're bad. Like I trust you. Okay. What if we get raided? We're not gonna get fucking raided. This is actually gonna be four. Raided? There's actually gonna be four total people watching the stream when it, when it starts. What if like? That was what the fuck. I missed someone crash. I guess it's fine. You didn't block. Who's like the most evil Dizzy player? What if Asian hit rate going? <laughs> It's not a Dizzy player. Whatever. <laughs> but if Hitler's top guy joins. What <laughs> if Hitler's top guy joins? <laughs> it's just a fucking silly name. Who did Asian Hitler play? He was Johnny. He was Johnny? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is a very Johnny player name. And so Hitler's top uh, guy is also Johnny. <laughs> what is with all these Johnny players who <laughs> love Hitler? I don't know. Imperial Ray is a very good amp here. Well, kind yeah, of. It's pretty good. It's not like 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 you don't like react to someone jumping with it in amp here with it, but you like sometimes. It it's, okay, well. it's weird. You can Imperial, react to an IED with it, but um. Imperial Ray in neutral is my goat. It's very good because it's plus five gazillion and it knocks down on hit. It does pretty good damage if you're not in the corner. Um. 
If you're in the corner, it does point one damage total. Spreading misinformation, it's not plus five to be really weird. Oh, sorry, what is it? It plus 80? Is that gonna be like plus 42 or some shit? It's like not. I don't know. Check. I don't know how it's calculated on Dust Boot. RoboTV is too good. It beats Dizzy setups. It's so annoying. What? RoboTV. Robo yeah. Yeah, but then he hits you with the DP and he freezes. No. No, he has a million damage. Even, I lose all my life. Yeah. yeah. If you don't die to it, he's losing it. Okay. Maybe, maybe like against you. Oh my god! This is sucks! This is sucks! Did you see that? <laughs> Did you see that <laughs> pre already not work? This is sucks. That shit's supposed to be frame zero. Frame zero and it's still lost. He's not gonna block this. Yeah. I got dizzy broken. I'm gonna do defense round start. He's not gonna do anything about it, yeah. That was an accident, but it worked. It's like four or five, I don't know. The last hit, I think, has like way less hit stun than the rest of the hits for some reason. So if you wait till the last hit, do ice spike, it just doesn't work half the time. I don't know why. No, it's because it's like the fifth hit or something that does this. The second last hit has like a million hit stun, like randomly. Like more than every other every other hit, I think is what it is actually. Basically, it's weird. I don't know. I might be spreading crazy misinformation right now, but I'm dead. Why'd you listen to me? Why'd you listen to me? Dude, Dizzy sucks. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you because Dizzy sucks. Hey, that's enough online. We'll wait now in training mode for everybody to show up. You don't want to get embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed. Why would You're I be embarrassed. embarrassed? You're embarrassed. You're embarrassed. No, the fourth hit staggers, but there's five hits. Yeah, uh -oh. I'm pretty sure the fourth hit has a I million hits on. I put on Wake Up versus Slayer. Um, it probably, been, took probably one, not a very good idea to cough any Slayer anyway on Wake Up. No, he was doing MIDI 2D. I see. Why would the fuck is he doing MIDI 2D? <laughs> I don't know. Players do that. They do if, you, if he's doing MIDI 2D, just press 6-6. Six, six. Look, his round start was 2D. If he's OD pressing 2D, 2D, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, just dash for it. It'll work. Because it goes over 2D, and you can just throw him. Yeah, but then I have to hit a bit sick on wake up. Yeah, that's that's true. Up wake up well, if he's doing round start, you can also do it. It's really, I just do, I do, okay, I do, I do random dash for and slayer and neutral all the time, because they do 2D. You, if you play cliff, you should be used to 6 6 and winning. That's true. I, if I'm going to 6 6 something on wake up, most of the time I just dodge it. Or backdash. I have a good backdash. What? 6-6 six, six on wake up is like really specific for specific things that I do not care about when I wake up. I like, like the I one frame of so the weird have, demon claw. Like I can make it so I have to hit a one frame. Or I could just do dodge. And we ping T5. Cause I'm pretty sure T5 is in VC with fucking Pulsar Gunner right now. Which is hey, T5 is he's playing on G. And tell him I'm gonna tell him he's gotta get out. I want to start without like my other students. Cliff dodge is not that risky. Uh, <laughs> dodge is the least uh, risky option on dodge, Earth. Okay, here's the thing. Unless you're at high stun, dodge isn't risky. If you're at high Cliff? stun, oh my god, dodge is risky. But I would just not get back broken. Reacting my luck. to Cliff dodge is impossible. The flow, the luck, the, the flow of luck is on my side. If they get, if they get back broken. It's not. It's not realistically humanly possible yeah. to react to to it. It lasts. It doesn't last a long time. It lasts a long time. I don't no, know. It doesn't last long enough. It's it for you. Yeah. Okay. Long How long? Wait. Can you IK click only forty eight frames? See, that's the problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you predict it as like Kai, you absolutely can't kill him for his sins, but. But like, you, that's like a really big risk. It's more of a risk than back break itself. It was doing oh, like an yeah, IK it activate and only go key. Like, it Hello, Chloe. Very, oh, Chloe. It is a Welcome. very funny fallout. That's 
that's not a real Quesada. That was, that was, that, what do you mean that wasn't real Quesada? That was totally real Quesada. That was well, the ball, it has to be mashable. It's fucking DD. It's a, it's a cross up. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, it means everything sold as is fake. <laughs> My character is bad. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. What the fuck is uh, that? This player, like, has the combos, but has the whack. Can I set P2 to okay. Zappa? Well,. Uh, um, not yet. I I'm going to show you reversal save Oki, so I'm going to use Soul as an example. Because his his reversals are very common. Hi. And you will see them high T5, cool. there you are. How late, or are we, did we just start? We didn't, we're just starting now, now that you're here you can start. Okay. Well, we'll give it like another minute or two, just in case Mad Farm wants to join. I'm not gonna hit a fucking Dust Loop. I'm dizzy, I'm dizzy for Dust Loop. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Here, like, like there is no downside to not hitting ice pickup for C, right? So if you have 25 meter and you do this, or like if you do like this and you have 25 meter, just press FRC. And if you miss it, who gives a shit? And if you don't miss it, you you, yeah. you get you get ice pickup for C. Cases, you miss it and you're dizzy and neutral. So you yeah, it's not like not a big deal. You can just go for it and you'll probably get it like 10% of the time, and that'll give you Loki. So it's like just do it. Okay, I'm gonna have all you mute now. Okay, are we good? We're good. All right. So, welcome, Dizzy. Yeah. So, I don't really have, like a lesson plan. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Do I want to know like? How about this is like the first question I ask. Where would you all consider yourself like on the Dizzy spectrum? Like how 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 knowledgeable do you think you are? Cause I'll, like, uh, I like no mute Dizzy. You need to mute yourself. Just type in chat. You've never fought Dizzy online? Okay, I'm going- I was going to start with like- Cause you- shut up, Noah. Okay, I was gonna start with like, the basics anyway, but I just wanna know how long I should spend on those. No more moves? Okay. The scale- I'm just like, how comfortable are you? Like, how long do I need to spend on telling- Like, what- do, do you know what knife does, basically? Like, do I need to explain how- like, the- like, the basic functions of our moves? Or can I like, just go on to like, the- like, the- like, the, like, the theory behind them, I guess? The homing knife, yeah. I mean, that was just an example. Like, I'm not, like, can I can I say knife and will you? If I say knife, will you understand what I mean in that situation? Like, if I say you need to do knife here, does it like? Can you like envision that, or should I like explain what knife does? I'll, I'll just explain her moves. I'll just explain her moves. It's fine. I'll do fish last. Um. Okay. I'll, I'll just go through her moves and then maybe you'll, you can ask questions and we can get like an understanding. So these are a lot of moves. We'll do fish last, because fish is like the important one, right? Um, so the the second most important move is like knife. This move is really good. You hold it, it's negative edge. It doesn't last, the negative edge isn't, you know, isn't super long, and the homing kind of sucks, but it's just really nice to annoy people. And um, I need a, one second. You can't use your S button. It's not that bad. Yeah, it's not. A big, it's not a super big deal. Um, it has the anti hitbox, which converts into big damage if you're good. If I can hit on this dummy doing jump. Yeah, you get you have bubble loop basically. But it's like you don't have to learn that. It is kind of weird. Um, I'm gonna do normals after. Um, I was gonna go over normals after specials because I feel like for Dizzy. Most characters, I think, their normals inform what their specials do in their kit, but I think for Dizzy, it's the opposite. Where it's like, if you don't understand what her specials do, her normals are kind of weird and unintuitive and don't make any sense. Because, like, what the fuck is this supposed to be for? Like, if you, if without, without her specials. Like, this, this is dog shit. But, um, anyways, a knife is really good. You can just use it. It's good in setups. You use it in a lot of reversal safe setups. It can be used as a cross up a lot. Cause it just stays on the screen. It's it's just like a screen, a generic screen filler tool, fireball thing. It is low hit stun. I think it's. The, let me pull. Let me pull the dizzy dust loop. Actually, this will be a good resource for me to have on on the screen. So yeah, knife is um level level three level. Okay, it's level two. The, the projectile. Sorry. <laughs> The projectile is level two, so it's like low block stun, low hit stun, and um, if they air block it, they get their air actions back, so they can like approach. 
So you want to you want to like basically you want to use it in conjunction with like your other tools or movement to like make it really weird and hard to predict. But a lot of times it's just gonna lift because the homing sucks and the hitbox is really tiny. Let me let me see you guys the hitbox. Like you're you're not gonna believe you're not gonna believe this. Look at look in look in this look at this hitbox. Yeah, it is very tiny. Why am I getting pinged? Oh, it's fucking Kent. Whatever. Okay. Um. And then his wheel. This is like your worst special move. It's like fine. It's like not bad. But it's like the hardest to use correctly. I need hitbox viewer. I should have got hitbox viewer for this. Um. How easy is hitbox viewer to it's to install? Okay, give it to me. Engine, yeah, right? I have cheat engines. Okay. Give me hitbox viewer real quick. I have cheat engine. Oh yeah, thank you. How do I load this up? Okay, Chloe, you can explain how do I load it? Just like yeah, if we was on screen, you cannot ice spike, which is really bad. So like, if you get a hit and you want to convert into ice spike and wheel is like despawning, it's over. Okay, where's GG? There it is. Click file. Cheat engine. Hitbox viewer. Open. Show hitboxes. All right, we're here. All right. So wheel. Watch. Watch the red boxes. You are humongous. You are actually the biggest thing in the fucking universe when you use wheel. You will get hit by every move in the game. It is insane how large you are with this move. So, I wouldn't recommend like just using this move whenever. It's like really hard to apply. It's it's good if you, if you know um if it's that sort of block um you can use it after like a five H there's like a weird pressure thing oh Chloe's gone I don't know if it's that good on Zappa I think he goes under it um S wheel I think he goes under all of them yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You use that. You basically this main use is you use it. You can use it after a five H or a two H on the block, and they take like an RPS, right? Um, generally, if you're gonna use wheel, I would I would advise K wheel because it it covers like it lasts a little bit longer, I believe, or like it covers a more like appealing arc without having to read. Like S wheel is kind of hard to apply without like reading your opponent's habits and like they're running at you. That's okay, Chloe. But yeah, um. So wheel hard to use. I would recommend avoiding it if a woman's short in the short S and dizzy if, as best as possible. Like you can use it occasionally, it's just really hard. Ice spike. This move is really good compared to wheel. This move is really really fucking good. This is your combo ender in the corner. And if you have 25 meter and you want to do the FRC mid screen, I didn't hit the FRC, but you get the point. Um, also, where are places like if you do this, 2D will not reach. But if you but if you do this, wow, you got a combo. It ends. It's awesome. So yeah. You get put into like an undesirable look situation. It's definitely your worst like knockdown type, because you get like the, that's like the classic, right? The dizzy fish into the ice spike, RPS. Like most of you have seen that if you play Diz if you play versus dizzy. So and there's di spike, which is just big. It, it hits it hits across the screen. It's just like a frame active or something, which is really good. People will run into this. And it just it's just really nice. You get put into like super recovery though. Like let, let me pull up the death loop again. <laughs> um, yeah, 42 recovery for HI spike, 53 recovery for DI spike. If you whiff this, you'll die. Like, they can just run at you, and they'll probably punish it. So, why does her arm extend on her fucking walking animation? What the hell? This character sucks. Okay, anyway. Um, yeah, in the corner, it's it being bad of his knockdown doesn't matter as much, because you get the same Oki as off of a throw or a good knockdown. You just have to do a meaty, because, um,. Fish will not meaty after ice spike in the corner, so they do a meaty 5k typically. But that's still like DP save, which I'll get to. Um, we want to go over Oki. So yeah, ice spike is strong, it's good, it's FRC. Um, another thing I'm sure you've seen a lot is delay ice spike after like a 2h on pressure, catching to catch like a normals or because the, the RPS series you do any other special move right, and it's better. But if you do ice spike, it catches them trying to catch that, and it's unsafe, but it's a little hard to punish and. 
And um, so, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Counter hit gives you a big reward. You get knocked down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't build guard bar, unfortunately. But Dizzy, Dizzy's H normally good at building guard bar. They're very chunky. Um, next is Bubble, I believe, right? Yeah. Bubble is really fucking good. This is like the most fucked up move she has besides fish. But it's kind of it's really hard to apply as a new player. This move is like really tough. Um. Yeah, so the way bubble works, I'll go over this since a lot of people have like a lot of some misconception about bubble. Um, <coughs> so you do the ocean. There's three different um, arcs. There's PU bubble, which goes straight forward like this. Um, there's K bubble, which goes down a uh, slight angle, and then there's S bubble, which goes down a very steep angle. So um, yeah, it, can, it does cancel your momentum, which is really fucking good for mixing. So I'll do show you later. But generally, yeah, there's I'll go D bubble. I'm just gonna do um, that be a different different s conversation, but um. Generally, you will not be using people very much. People is very specific. Like it doesn't really cover an ideal angle. Like you don't really need to be covering this space over here, like above your enemy, because you have air normals for that. If you're in the air, you want you want like the ground to be covered, where you're generally weaker because your ground normals aren't good. You you don't have a far slash. Like this is not like a ground normal, and this is like a kind of like a shitty normal a little bit. It's like okay, but yeah. So um, you use K or K or S bubble a lot, and then the way it works is it stays out for a little while, and after some time it pops. However. If you hit it with a normal, it takes one active frame from the normal and then pops the bubble. Oh, huh? DZC bugged out? What's wrong? Okay, um, basically, um, after the arcs, I just said it auto-pops after a while. So if you let bubbles stay out for a little while, it will automatically pop. And then after that, I said if you hit the bubble with a normal, the bubble will also pop. The opponent cannot pop your bubble. Some people think you can, they cannot. Only you can. <laughs> um, yeah, and, um, this is, like, more in-depth complex. Bubble takes an active frame off of your normal, which don't, won't matter most of the time. I don't probably can't demonstrate this. But if you do like 2k 5h, it won't. Did you see the 2k 5h didn't combo? 2k 5h is a one frame combo technically, because of a change from AC. So if a bubble eats the active frame in 5h, it just won't combo. This will have this will happen occasionally. It's it's dropped me some games, but it's not very common and like nothing to really worry about. It'll always happen on accident anyway. Um. So yeah, bubble's very strong. It just occupies a screen of space because even if you don't, even if you're not near it, the auto pop makes it like a threat at all times. And um. If no matter when, if you hit, if an active frame hits the bubble, it will pop even if you get hit. So this is like the biggest trade winner in the game for Dizzy. You will win every trade with the bubble on the screen if you hit, the, if you can manage to hit the bubble. So JK is really fast, four frames, really good at hitting bubble. JP is bigger but a little bit slower, also really good at hitting bubble. And then you can do like air dash back JS because JS is humongous. And it'll do that. That's a very common round start. Like you do TK bubble air dash back JS. If I didn't hit the TK, oh my god. Yeah, you, you get the you get the idea. Yeah, so it's very good, and you get a, you get like a launch. I'm really bad TKs on that side. Oh my god. You get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you get a launch, far slash, dice spike, combo. Yeah, you get the idea. That's that's a rare combo. So it's good. It's very good. Very strong. So now our force breaks. Oh, well, I didn't go over fish, but I'll go over the force breaks real quick because um, fish should be the biggest section. Force break knives. You've seen this move. People complain this move all the time. It's really good. It's plus. It, it's fast. Well, it's not that fast, but it's like it's like relatively fast. Um, the tracking is kind of not great as well. Oh, that was a bad example. I'm not trying to idea. Yeah, it, it's it's good. If I can. Yeah, what I'm trying to what I'm trying to show that if you jump at the right time, you can get over it pretty easily. But it's very, it's very good. It is the same tracking issues as normal, but it's um, you can't hold it, which is another disadvantage. Yeah, but if you um, if you get this, if you have 25 meter and you need like space and neutral, or you're out of pressure, you make them block, like you make them block a 5h. You can just do, you can just do FB dives, and you'll probably be plus. If I can hit a DP input, there you go. Yeah, you're plus there. Is I hit, get hit, you get a combo. It is, it's very strong. It very easy to use is the most important part. I feel. Um. It, it just it does what it does, and there's not many ways which way it can go wrong. You can get hit out of the startup, and they can go over it and hit you in recovery sometimes, but recovery is 
quite low compared to how deep the hitbox the hit is at the start. So you, it goes, it can track behind you too. The, I can't demonstrate this either. But if Faust like does cross up door and you do FB knives, it'll hit the cross up door and you'll get a combo, which is really funny. Um, yeah, God, she's so huge. Okay, um, now FB bubble. This is like, this is this is her best 25 meter option besides FRCs. It's just really good. Here, let me try to demonstrate this. Okay, I missed it. It's really big. I, I, but I'm trying to show you is humongous. Have you guys a hitbox and startup? No, it does not. It goes active a little bit after the, um, the flash. But yeah, Epi Bubble is like almost double as big as normal Bubble is. It's humongous. It'll hit them from half screen away. Any extended hurt bucks they put out will get hit by Epi Bubble. It's so good. It's huge. It does the same thing. It tracks is the also impo the important part. Like if you watch. Um, it goes straight towards them and it follows them around. They, they, if, if Effie Bubble's on screen, their neutral becomes really hard and annoying, basically. So they have to, like, play really shitty and, like, careful, and you can get summons out really easily if they're doing that. Because they're not, they're probably not going to press the button if they're near you. Because you could just do 5P and do, and pop the bubble and get a combo. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's all of our normal special moves. Um, supers. Well, not, not fish, obviously, again. But supers. Coffin. Yeah. This move sucks. This move is dog shit. Um, yeah, it's a reversal. It's invulnerable on startup. Um, well, I guess I'll just do... Yeah. Yeah, it, it'll, it'll catch normals. Which like, sounds great. It's a grab. So, like... It's a grab, but it's also a strike. So that means it loses the things that are it loses the things that are strike and and it loses the things that are throw and And it loses the things with her box. It's a really tiny line on the ground if you watch. So if you if you move as any bit of like feet and it'll lose. It also is very it's involved for a very small amount of time. You can five k that Cliff can five k over coughing. That's true. Um, the involve is very tiny. So if you're in the air. People say any air coffin is good. It's like okay, but if they're in the air and they press a normal, um, what do you mean six k doesn't go over it? I mean it doesn't go over it. It's darn bone. Yeah, it's the same shit. It doesn't matter the word you use. It loses. But yeah, um, it sucks. It sucks. Um, there's a see. There's this video about it. You might not have seen. Um called the coffin CMV every time. It shows a lot. A lot of those, those funny situations. Epi Faf loses. Epi Faf loses sometimes, not often. Epi Faf will beat it a good portion of the time. <coughs> oh, wait, do you mean Soul Epi Faf or Haas Epi Faf? Soul, okay, Soul Epi Faf loses. Yeah. Crystal sucks. Yeah, the 13 minute coffin CMV, the whole gimmick of that is a bunch of moves in the game beat coffin on startup. And it's really sad, and and they get combos off of it, because um, if there's a projectile on screen, projectiles. Tr oh, I can actually show this because I'm so um. I didn't mean to do that, wrong button. Okay, I did it too close. There we go, look at that. See, she gets caught. He he gets caught, which is like, yo, was awesome, I did it. But then Gunflame hits her anyway, because she's not invuln. Because the invuln runs out really fast. So it just sucks. And a lot of characters, like Testament, can do Beast, and he'll get a combo off of it. And it's just like, damn. Game sucks. It super sucks. However, she has a better super, and Pure Ray. The super is really good. Contra conversely to Coffin. It's huge, it's very tall. Um. It does a lot of damage mid screen. In the corner, is less damage because there's like less less pillars to get hit by. Like comparatively, um, it knocks down at any height. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. We can watch Coffin CMB after. I don't care. We might as well. Um, but we still have teaching to go through first. I don't know how long I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna ramble until we get tired. <laughs> I don't have like a plan. Um, but yeah, Imperial Ray is really big. It, it does infinite untech. You can sometimes it's really weird. Um, generally you have to be running along with it, because I don't know how it works, but there's like something with the screen scroll and the impure array that makes sometimes, sometimes it doesn't do it, sometimes it does. It, it's just really weird. Yeah. 
yeah, you you will you will always be able to run at them and like hit, like I can't really demonstrate this, but like you'll be plus and have a knockdown and and be able to do okay. It's really good. It is it's just very strong. It is invuln starting frame five, so it's not reversal, but um, it's frame zero after flash, the first pillar. So if you use if it, if the super flash comes out, you will trade and most likely trade favorably for you. So it's good as an Abari option as well. And um, you can FRC it, which is like not necessary for you guys. I can't do it in training mode ever. I can't do it probably because the one hundred delay right now. But um, if you, basically if you FRC it, you're active during super flash. So you can, they're stuck in Super Flash, you can run up and throw them. And it's unblockable, and they can't do anything about it, which is really funny. <laughs> I, won a, I won a tournament set against Adma a little while ago, where the last hit of the game was I did Impure or AFRC, run up air throw, unblockable. It is pretty cool looking. But yeah, it, it's fun, it's fun to use. And there's this. It, this is a fake super. You don't use this. No one's ever, I've never used this in game, I don't think. Um, it sucks. <laughs> It's actually better than a 2P mash, T5, because 2P is 6 frames, so, um, it's, it's just better. Yeah, a normal 2P mash, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, bubble is huge, if you look at the hitbox Chloe posted in chat, and if you're not in chat because you're in Twitch stream, sorry. But it's really big. Her 5P and close slash are 5 frames. But her activation range for close slash is like really weird. I don't understand how it works, so I don't close slash ever, and I don't like pressing five P because it's high up because she's tall. <laughs> but yeah, um, those are all of her moves except fish, which is I'll be talking about now. Um, so fish is really good. You know this. Everybody knows fish. Fish is the infamous move. Um, before I go to the specific command, generally how fish behaves, um, it's a little projectile on screen. It has a hitbox like that. You can hit fish, it will armor through one hit. If fish and these hurt boxes are overlapping with the hitbox, um, it will eat the hit. So a really funny example of this I will pull up is this. Or I'll do, um, yeah. And the fish, even though it's way behind her, it's still, because the hurt box overlap technically, fish will eat the hit. This will happen occasionally in game, that's always really funny. But yeah, basically, um, <coughs> fish is really strong on offense and neutral is the defensive option, like an automatic defensive option. Sure, no, you can say something. The only exception to this is burst prioritizes dizzy. Oh yeah, that's fish. true. Burst will always hit dizzy first. If fish and dizzy overlap, it burst will hit dizzy. So fish does not eat burst. This is a misinformation that happens occasionally. Um. <coughs> There's also another weird interaction where Haas's Tyrant Rave will sometimes hit both Dizzy and Fish on the same frame and hit both. Nobody knows why this happens, but it does. But it's rarely it's rare. Well, it's because there's two hitboxes. One's a projectile, one's a one's a hit. But like it that doesn't make any sense. Still, yeah, it, it's like weird because because other different hitboxes don't do that. Yeah, yeah. So if you burst in the hip or hurtbox, the hitbox of burst, like it grows, right? So if the smaller hitbox hits fish first before dizzy, it'll it'll hit, it'll hit fish. But yeah, usually if you burst, it'll hit dizzy, like most of the time. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Also, it stays out when she gets hit and when she gets knocked down when she blocks. That's very famous, very famous parts of the move. It, it, it's just very strong in that sense because you can put fish out and it'll just. It, it'll do a lot of things for you. If you're getting comboed, it'll help. It can hit them. I, I won a set the other day again versus Rensenware because he was hitting the game, the set winning combo, and he did J2H as Milia and hit Fish like from off screen, and I got all the combo and hit him, and he died. It's always funny. It's always silly. It does. That's not true, T5. Um, usually. It's weird. It does, kind of. Um, it's weird. It's really weird. Laser, laser, laser autocorrects on side. Um, Bifish turns around based on dis proximi proximity. It's really strange. So, like, Laserfish, if they go in front of Laserfish, it won't turn around, which makes Laserfish kind of weird. I was going to mention that later. Um, okay. 
I'll, I'll keep going because T5 already knows most of this. Yeah. Um, so now that that's, that's like the basic, the basic, um, how fish works. So I'll go over the individual commands now. P fish. This is two bites. Oh, I, I forgot to mention you get two commands. The bets like, you know this. Um. So anyways, P fish is two bites. It stays out for a long time. It's very annoying. In neutral, it's hard. It's kind of hard. It's it's like easy to apply in the sense that it will always be annoying the opponent. But it's hard to like get like solid concrete mix-ups and offense off of P-Fish. Cause it's like it's like low hit stun. It's weird. If you're if you're in a scramble, it's, you can't really convert off of it. If you're in hit stun, like if they hit you and the P fish gets them out of it, you kinda of just return to neutral. Which is still good. But like, it's not compared to D it looks like different compared to D fish or they'll just die. But yeah, it's strong. P, -P fish is very common to see, because it stays out for like so fucking long. And it's just four hits. Um on offense, you use it commonly for tick throws. That's like the most common use for it. Sometimes it's very normally a first fish command, as well as say. Um, K fish, three very fast bites. This is like the Giga block stun fish. Um, it's dog shit and neutral, awful dog shit, shitty and neutral. However, on offense, it's really fucking good. They get put in a million years of block stun entirely. Your the entire time of it, you are actionable. You can do mix ups. You get your fifty fifties. It's just very strong. If they mash, they get hit and hit stunned. You can hit confirm that extremely easily. It's just really good. Really good fish command to have on neutral and not on neutral and pressure. Yeah, yeah. Um. Usually it's the first fish command. Mm, like eighty percent of the time, will be first fish command. You can, on some setups it will be the second command, but it's rare and like weirder to apply because the skills push back really high at that point. Um, S fish. This is the worst fish command. It's a high laser. It's okay. It, you basically, it's like you use it if you have a read and your opponent jumping out of something. But there are usually better ways to catch jumps. And it's just like, if they block it, it's very low level. This is not really like a super threat. So it, it's just like better if you're a new player to use H fish, which is the same thing but low. Which is like really nice. Like this covers the whole screen. It's just really good. It's like Jam Session, you know, Jam Session from Marvel. It, it hits like, it hits infinite horizontally, infinite distance horizontally. It is really nice. <laughs> so you'll, you'll see if H fish is very common in both offense and in neutral. It's, it's big. And it'll help. It's very active too, which is important. So they can fall into it, wake up into it, etc. <coughs> it wall splats in the air hit. I'll show that at least. If I can set it up. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, it, it knocks back really far if I go closer to the corner. Yeah, wall splats. It's kind of low hit stun on the wall splat, so you can't really cut off of it off of all ranges. But it's still solid. It's good for it's good for a lot of high damage combos on setups in the corner. Like you'll you'll see you'll see like HD LR DH. It's very common. Um, it's just very good. It, it's like a generic. You can like see it's like it's deep. Each fish is like the least deep fish. You can like see why it's good. It's very obvious why it's good. It, it works exactly as it looks. It's, it's a big laser. Um, <coughs> there's like not super, there's not like super big nuances with how you how you use it. Yeah, and then D fish. This is my favorite fish. This is the fish that's like super goaded. Plus our only fish. It's so good. It's a big bite. It does a lot of. It has a million damage. This is the only fish that builds guard bar. It staggers on hit, so you can get throws. You can throw them. You can get any combo you want. It's just so good. It does like a dandy step motion, so it's really hard for the opponent to like. It goes look how like look how it goes back and it goes far forward. It's really hard for the opponent to kill, so they will struggle to count. Like the range isn't super big, so you have to like kind of be preemptive with it or like bait like a run forward. But they will struggle so hard to like hit it. It was really nice in matchups like Solar Hoss where they're running at you, so it's just really nice. It, it sees application as a f ender and fish ups a lot. It's like the most common ender, the second most common second fish command. And in neutral, you can use the first or second command. DH is strong. HD is equally strong. It's just really good. It's like probably the best fish all around. It's just really strong. It, it is a lot of damage. You get really fucked up shit like this, DD. Leave that damage. It's pretty insane. Um, yeah, that's kind of how they work. I don't know if I'm missing any like super big important thing about it. It's also a high block stun. Obviously, it's like level six, so it's plus a gazillion. 
Throwing kills. Oh yeah, throwing does kill fish. That's true. Um, not how. Nah, it's not. It's, it's kind of true. Oh, it's, it's, it's actually just just true. Throwing kills fish. Ground throws. Your the fish command. The, the animation is long enough for the fish command. Like the fish cooldown will be expired. Right. So like that's good. You get every time you get a throw, you get a re, you get more okay. Yeah. And then, however, if you do air throw, <laughs> air throw, you wanna fish command does not expire in time. For some reason. Depending like, if it knocks down, it's it just half the time you just can't get official kill off of your throw, so be doing knife. It is really annoying. It's because the animation is shorter, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, am I missing anything? Command list. Um, no. Awesome. IK sucks. You'll never use it, obviously. Um, <laughs> I can't even do that. I can't even do it, dude. And he a joke. I got it, okay. Yeah, dude, okay. Um, <laughs> it sucks, so I'm just benching as a joke. Alright, normals. Um, Dizzy is really weird, really weird normals. Taunt, taunt has a hitbox, it's unblockable. Don't worry about it, it sucks. It's a knowledge check. There are like setups, quotation mark, where you can, where you can taunt unblockable people. But you can get out of those if you know how they work. Like, guaranteed. So they're very weak. And generally just gimmicks. Does he, he people like, it's like a joke. It's like funny. They're, they're funny. You hit people who don't know that you laugh. You get you get a laugh. You get like, wow, I'm so silly. I'm busy player taunt. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in Twitch chat, from what I know, basically every fish combination is great except for S-Fish. Kind of, um... And neutral, if you use K-Fish in a combination, you're a moron most of the time. Um, I would say S-Fish is better than K-Fish in neutral. So you're like half right. PD, PDH Fish is always like, it's like the, you do whatever you want. You, you, yeah. But know what Noah Dark Claw said? Any combination of PHD Fishes, you ball, you're good, you're winning. You're a pro dizzy. Teal, um, all the teal hitboxes are hitboxes. Um, the red are hitboxes, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I'll go over normals. I'm gonna go over some general dizzy stuff, which like strength weaknesses, that kind of thing, which some of you will be familiar with, some of you won't be, and still get to talk about those fun fun things. If you know me, you'll know what I like to talk about the most when it comes to dizzy weaknesses. Anyways, um, her P button, it's it, it, it's good, it's fine. Or her five P is pretty big, it's nice. I don't use this button ever. It whips on crouching, it's okay. Two P is like kind of bad. It's huge, which is really nice, but it's slow. And her, her box is really big. It's not super good as an Abare, but it's good as like a poke neutral. And it's nice in some setups. I'm fine. I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother installing that. No. Two P is basically worse. Two K. Yeah. I'll, I'll get to two K in a minute. Um, six P sucks. Don't use this normal. This normal dog shit. Um, it wall bounces, so you get combos on some members of the cast in the corner, but they're not worth it. Um. It doesn't work as an anti air. It doesn't work as a counter poke. All the th you know all those things in the game. People are like, if you six speed, the you can six speed these. Um, what you, which one or what? Um, Nini. Six speed, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things in the game where people be like, the general counterplay is six speed it, like rocket, for example. Like the general counterplay for most characters is to six speed rocket, correct? Or like a, lo a good portion of the cast. Dizzy can't do that. Basically, if someone ever tells you that the counterplay something is a 6p, Dizzy probably can't. Because this, this button is really bad. Um, it is a hurtbox on the dragon, so it's not as low profile as it should be. So it's, it's, it's not really waste up invuln. I don't really know why. Um, it just sucks. You get no reward, it launches, which is not what you want. Um, yeah. And ironically, if it didn't have a wall bounce, it'd probably be better because then it knocked down mid screen. But. I don't know. It, it just sucks. It sucks. It's bad. Um, JP is really good. It's not as big as the animation implies. The hitbox is not reached to the tip of the nails. Can you post the hitbox for me, for me if you don't mind? Um, it's not self gallon If this was self tanable like self gallingable and whiff, this would be the best normal in all of fiction. But it's like it's like it's like fine. It's strong. You use the pop bubbles a lot. It's good. It hits at a nice angle. It's good for fuzzies a lot. Um. In air strings, using air combo, air strings a lot. This is really good because it is a good galling to JS. 
So it's really nice for adjusting height, that kind of thing. Very generic use for 6p. Not nothing super special. Yeah. Like you can see the the hurt box is bigger than the hitbox and the hitbox doesn't go nearly as far as the animation implies. So it can be a little disappointing sometimes, but it's generally good. Um Um <coughs> Um Max K button. This is the big one. This K button, her K button is insane. It's really fucking good. 5k is very strong. It's pretty big for a 5k. It is very horizontally good. Um, she's pretty big as Dizzy is, but with the way her foot moves, it can dodge some lows occasionally. But it's not super reliable for that, like some other um, some other moves. It Gatlings into close slash, 5 age, everything. It basically, the Gatlings are really strong, so you get a combo off any hit. Um, it was really nice. And it just, it's just good. Like, there's not much to say about this move. You can jump cancel it, which is really useful for setups, because you can make it DP safe with it. Um, it's just good. There's not much to talk about with this. Two now, two K though. This move is like the dizzy move. Oh my god, why is her her box extend so much in recovery? Holy shit. Anyways, two K is really fucking good. Everybody complains about this normal. You do dash two K and it hits like a million miles away. You confer it to five K or to five H, then knockdown. It's really good. Combined with her run, which crushes lows. Look at that. It's just like really good. Really strong normal, very big, very annoying. It's fast. She doesn't move much, which is nice, even though the her buck kind of expands. Um, it's like it's like she she's big, but it's not more than her normal big, which is good for one of her normals because usually her normals make her humongous. That's okay. Yeah, Tuki is really strong, mighty. Um, JK is it's. JK is probably her hardest air normal, or even maybe her hardest normal in general. That's not bad to apply. It's four frames. It makes you like. I'm gonna say it makes you tiny. It does not make you tiny. It makes you tinier. It makes you very slightly smaller than your normal air, your normal air box, which is very still very massive. You're still very large, but um, it's pretty good. It's nice for popping bubbles. It's nice, just like a. It's very active, so you can use this like a, a high jump in sometimes, just to like hit them. She does look very cute here. It is really nice. Um, S button. Her S button? There's a lot of hits and misses. Um, <coughs> close slash. Pretty strong. It's fast. Five frames. Yeah, at least you're never about That's true. In the tail. Five frame. Or five frame. Um, plus one on block, which is really nice. So you can do... Um, you can't... You cannot pressure after CS. You, she has no frame traps from CS, except 2D, I think. So the plus one doesn't matter. Oh, 6B is the frame trap. It's her, it's her only plus ground and normal, but she gets no frame traps off of it because she has no delay cancels. So if they if they fuzzy mash 2P after CS, they will beat your pressure every time unless you press 6P. But that means pure pressing 6P and 6P is bad. So it's like it's like nice that it's plus, but it doesn't actually matter that much, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it's pretty large. It's nice. The proximity again, the proximity on the CS versus far slash is really weird. It's not as big as the hitboxes, I don't think, which is like annoying. But yeah, um, far slash is kind of bad. It's like a weird in air. A lot of characters can run under it, and it, it whiffs on crouching. Um, it, so it is really situational. Sometimes it'll hit like the, the first few hits, then the other hits will like whiff under them because their hurt box like, like it's like weird. It's really weird. It's very good versus Batemian because it's a multi hit and he has hammerfall. Yeah, and he can't crouch under it either, which makes it really strong. Um, <laughs> it's also. Basically, giga dog shit against Zappa. Yeah, you never use this button against Zappa. This is not a normal you have against Zappa, in fact. This, this Patronic doesn't exist. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it can hit IEDs. I don't really believe in it as an anti air, if I'm being honest. It's it's nice when you have fish out to like, absorb a hit, right? But it's just very specific and hard to use. It's very good as a combo filler in the air. Like, if they're in the air and you get a hit and you can do far slash ice spike to knock them down, it's really nice. Um, but otherwise, it's just really hard and specific to use, typically. You have to, like, be, like, really on point with your, like, how they're, how they're moving in the air, but she has better options for that, too, so it's, like, weird. JS is very strong. Um, it's big. It's very simple. Not much to talk about. It's large. It's very disjointed. It is nice. Like, it's, it's, like, this is, like, her one disjointed normal that she had, like, actually decently disjointed. It's really good. Yeah. Obviously, there's also J2S, which is like the demon phantom normal that people are so scared of. It's throwing vulnerable for the entire duration. It is really nice. 
If you like you get zapped specifically, after like sword strings, they're gonna attack forward and they're gonna try to air throw you. If you press J2S, you'll hit them, they'll be like they'll they'll cry. They'll cry real tears. They'll be they'll be they'll be sobbing in their in their bed at night. Cause you press J2S and they can't air throw you. It's very fun, very nice. Yeah, it has a lot of hitboxes. Um it hits behind her first, so well, it is really fast. You have to remember that um, it hits under her and like the of like a, a frame or two after like the startup implies. But it's still very strong, very good. <laughs> Use it for air dash strings a lot because J two S J H is really good. Yeah. Anyways, um, I didn't go over two S. I forgot. So two S is like, look at this hitbox. I, mean, yeah, I, mean, I want to show this in game in my game. There we go. This looks really good. This looks really fucking good, doesn't it? Like this looks amazing. Like it'll be like, wow, this anti air is cracked. This anti air is stupid good. But like, unfortunately, the reality of it, yeah, it's like okay. It has 23 frames of recovery. I think I might be exaggerating a little bit. Let me check. I might be exactly correct. Um, it's, it's not 23. I don't think it'd be insane. There's no way. It's it's 22. Okay, I was right. It's still insanely. It has a lot of recovery. Um, so something that'll happen a lot is they'll do this and then fall on you. So you do like, oh, I'm baiting a jump in, oh, then you die. You'd be like, wow, the jumping on me, you're gonna press 2S, and then you they'll jump out, and you get hit. Okay, I, I, I'm struggling to like convey it with the recording, but you, you get what I'm saying, right? Like, they, they can, it's very easily baitable with double jump. Um, from when that get hit, so like, you know when Soul gets hit, how he's like leaning backwards? Some characters, their recoil animation moves their hurtbox a little bit lower, and they, it can make it, it can interact with a far slash. So like it'll make him the hit swift, and they'll get uncomboed basically. But my point was basically that you don't want to use far slash as a ground combo tool, because it's really bad for that. She does have better air normals than ground normals. Whoever said that in the Twitch chat, it is true. Her air normals are really fucking good. Anyways, 2S. Um, it has a lot of recovery, I said that. It's very strong for, like, um... Defense... Like, if you're on, if you're blocking, like, Hoss. Let's take Hoss, for example. I, against Hoss, you know how Hoss likes to do, like, charge cancel, like, dash jump, JH, on offense a lot? Like, if you play Hoss, this will happen to you occasionally. It's very strong for doing that kind of thing. Like, they try to be by pressure with a jump. It used to be good versus Cliff until T5 got good, and I can't do it anymore. So instead, it's really bad versus Cliff. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's just good. If you can really feel them coming down on you with an, with an air normal, it will it will probably beat their air normal. Like that, the one thing it had, the, her, the hitbox is really good. It will probably hit their air normal, at least. Like, or at least, like, clash. But, um, it's just hard to use correctly. And if you do use it wrongly, you're stuck in recovery for a million years, and they can hit you. What T5 did to beat Digit 2S was he made his IAD strings really tight. So now I get hit, and I cry, real tears. Anyways, um, okay, that's our S button. I don't know if I'm missing anything for 2S. Oh, the reward is really bad as well. That's something to note. The the the, the reward of an air con like, like an anti air 2S is really, is really like minuscule. Yeah, but pot 6P is good. Like, 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 um, it's not really comparable, because Dizzy 6P is not an anti-air. If you use this anti-air, you'll lose. Okay, anyways, um, H button. 5H is pretty good. It's big. It's a really, it extends her, can you, can you show the her box in startup? Not the hitbox, but the her box. It extends her box really far. Oh, 2S, I see, yeah. Um, but yeah, 5H extends her box really far in startup, so you can kind of poke a lot. But um, as a Twitter post we saw a little while ago said, it also removes her, her, her box goes away in recovery, which can make it nice if you whiff. Yeah. However, you're still stuck there for a decent amount of time. Like you're still like immobile, as dizzy, with your humongous ass her box in general. Like you're still you're still big, cause you're dizzy. But um, it's okay. I wouldn't recommend using a neutral too much. Zappa goes under it, obviously. But in other matchups, it's like fine. It's really good in matchups like Soul, where they're running at you, pressing normals constantly. So you get like a counter hit. You don't get anything special on counter hit, which is one of the things, unfortunately. Um, it is definitely her biggest issue, in my, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's, it is really cool animation. I wish it was in Exard, but it's not. But it's, it's just fine. That's a, that's a story for another day. 
Um, what did I do to beat Dizzy 2S? You, oh, you just um, got good at offense. Yeah. Uh, JK hits it on starter. JH hits it really low. Uh, if it whiffs, she loses the round. Like, that's pretty much it. Yeah. If anywhere near her, above her. It has a pretty animation, though. Look at those feathers. Anyways, um, 5H is good. It's, it's it, 5H is like a weird normal because it's really, really bad in some matchups. Cliff matchup, 5H, hell no. Testament matchup, 5H, don't dream of it. Never fucking 5H against Testament. Um, there are, you know, you see that very small, like, like five pixel, like, disjoint on 5H that Chloe posted? That is the only window in the entire normal you can hit net against Testament. It basically won't happen. So. Yeah, it, it, it just, it, it just very, very specific in its use. Is that, is that like frame one of startup in 5H? Chloe? Yeah, that is the, actually the tiniest I've ever seen Dizzy. Yeah, basically what Dizzy said. You're going to get hit if you use it to clear nets. Um, it's okay. Again, it, it's her most okay normal. It's passable. It, this is basically like... If you want to think about it, this is her far slash equivalent, essentially. It covers a decent space in front of her. It's fast. Um, it has a good recovery, her box. But it's, it's like, okay. It's just okay. Yeah. Now, 2H. 2H is really good. It's, it's okay in neutral. It has very high counter hit reward, which is a really big ground bounce. So I'll turn counter hit on real quick. These are really, you can't like hit confirm these is the only problem. So you have to like not even get hit the hit. So it's just, it's just, you get the gist. You get a bubble loop. Um, it's just strong on counter hit. So it occasionally as a counter bucket works or as a punish, it's fast. However, it's really small. So this this situation is gonna happen to you a lot. Not that it's like it's, you're gonna you're gonna do this a lot. You're gonna you're, this is gonna happen to you a lot as you play Dizzy. It's really unfortunate. Or like, I don't know if this works, I don't know if this happens versus soul. Or like, you're like slightly spaced here, you do, you do this. That happens a lot to me. I lose games because of that. Or I, I, I do like a string on the off of their fish, I do 2H and it whiffs. And it is really unfortunate. Yeah, even even 2K, and even 2D on max range 2K whiffs. Yeah, it's really unfortunate. That's why, that's why, that's why having 2K 5H, I spec is really nice in this version. But yeah, two, the biggest thing about 2H, it's your best knockdown, because you get you get a massive delay cancel window for fish. So you can do you do literally whatever you want. And it's also nice on pressure, I showed you before, because the RPS, where you do 2H and you're like, you either do fish summon, you do You delay ice spike. You knife. I didn't do knife there, but you, you get you get the idea. It, it's pretty strong on pressure. It's very minus. There's an FRC, which is nice. But you only need this. I've never hit that ever that many times in a row. Um, it's pretty big too. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just good. It's your combo wonder. It's like weird. There's not much to talk about with it because it's just mostly a combo tool. You don't really use it besides on block. You don't really use it anywhere else. You can again neutral sometimes. Big reward. But yeah, it's a good. Six H is really weird. It's it's also heavily disjointed, but it extends her box a lot too. It's slow. Um, it has two hits. It launches. Um, do the launch. You don't really get a combo. <laughs> you took after that. But um, you can jump cancel it, which is really nice. So if they block this, you do IED. They're like, pretty plus, and like they have to like gamble. I wouldn't recommend using it norm using this normal very much. It's kind of hard to use. It's hard to hard, it's hard to apply. It has two FRCs for some reason. I don't know where the second one is. I don't really feel like turn on input display because I'm lazy. I got it. There it was. Okay, but it's also really cool animation. I got it. Okay. Anyways, yeah, you, that's the, that's her ground age button. And then these are like super like this. Like, they're they're kind of niche and like you just kind of use them sometimes when you feel like it. JH is really good, however. JH is very big. It's very plus level five. 
You put them in a million years of blocks and a million years of hits done. However, it has some weaknesses. Within this normal sucks. You are putting in recovery and basically until landing. So you will get an air if you whiff. Also, no. I didn't mean air throw there. If they air block this, you are minus five gazillion. It is so. If they, if you do not want them to air block JH high up. You are like incredibly minus. You will get punished 100 percent of the time. So it's big. It's best application obviously is like grounded, like jump in. Like this is really fucking. Everybody knows J2S JH is really fucking good. Like this is an amazing air dash to have for this character. It's so good. I'm missing the combo for some reason, but it works. Trust. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got Ash in the chat. Um, 2D or 2H is the best knockdown, definitely. Um, 2H is a little better, cause for a reason I'll explain a second of 2D. But um, Ice Spike is good if you have ever see Orper in the corner. Generally, in the corner, you don't want to do 2H. It's just really weird because you can't. Because in the corner, you need a micro dash fish to do like the, the strong mix ups. So if you're gonna end in 2H, just end in ice pick anyway, or like same thing with 2D. Oh my God. Because then you need a micro dash fish. And get, there you go. Anyways, D button 5D is kind of worthless. It's kind of cute. Oh my God, the hitbox. <laughs> That's pretty big. <laughs> You don't use this very often on purpose. You will use this a lot by accident. However, I would not be su do not be surprised you how much you get this on accident. Um, it's a fairly decent in air, but again, not on purpose. If you like by accident like trying to do knives to get five D, you'll probably hit them out of the air. Is it happens a lot? Um, two D, two D is pretty big. Two D is really strong. Is it a knockdown tool? Is jump cancelable? Which is really nice. Um. As far as pros and cons over 2H, it's bigger, obviously. It'll work out in more ranges. It still has the problem with whiffing at max range 2K, but it's more consistent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you just do 2K 2D. Yeah, it happens. Or 2K 5D is the classic for me. Um, so yeah, 2D, as far as cons, to get Oki on half the cast, I'm not going to be able to demonstrate this because I'm really bad at it. I really just don't do it often. Just switch side. Okay. So you can't delay cancel this, right? Watch, I'm gonna do delay cancel. Nothing comes out. So that means I carry a long wake up timing. I don't think Soul is one of them. I think he's too normal. No, what the hell? Okay, no, you don't. You need versus Soul, but um, I guess carry a long wake up timing off of 2D. Um, you can't do PD without delay, without delay canceling, or it won't Oki. It won't, it won't meet you basically. So it's like, what the fuck do I do here? Can I just not get Oki off of 2D? But plus star is a wonderful, glorious game. So what you can do instead to delay cancel is you can jump cancel 2D and then do a TK fish input. It's really hard. I can't really do it. I'm really bad at it. But basically, you jump cancel 2D with 214 like 2147D or 2147P. You press P during jump startup and it'll get TK fish on the ground. And that lets you delay cancel effectively. I don't know why they didn't just extend the delay cancel window if they're gonna do this. It just seems like an oversight, I think. Yeah. If you're a big like Fate and Liberty Codes fan, it'll be easy, very familiar for you. But um, it's just hard. I don't know if you need it versus Zappa. I don't remember. I think you probably do, which is really unfortunate. But actually, you don't even need it versus Zappa because Zappa crouches under two P fish, so it doesn't fucking matter. So yeah, um, <laughs> it is hard and annoying. It'll be something you like grumble about occasionally like me I do that all the time okay JD JD is pretty cool it's like weird it's like it's a good hitbox um it's a it's a it's your main air combo under because it launches them upwards so you can land and do a summon most of the time um it is really good for that you can do IED JD sometimes that likes doing this it like hits really far out <laughs> and the like, counter hit you like a big launch but yeah, it's also like I don't use normal very often. I don't have much, very much to say about it. It's like alright. It's pretty good. It's alright. It's, it's a good normal. <laughs> Would Kfish be easier to eight first during hit stop than input? Probably not. Well, no, you can't do it during hit stop because um you have to delay cancel. So you have to do it in recovery because because two D is jump cancel during full recovery. 
So it's after hit stop. No, I, I, I legitimately do not think it's possible to do it with 8214. I mean, you have to do 8214P in a, like a three frame window. Which is like no, it, it would not work. Or yeah, eight like you if you do it during his stop, you're jumping the first. No, I'm not, I'm saying like stop. I'm saying yeah. I'm saying after his stop, I don't think eight two one four p like possible for humans because of how tight it would be. It's like the, it's like theoretically possible. You get to be frame proof in all your inputs essentially to do it. Yeah, that, that's good, Chloe. But yeah, all right, general dizzy stuff. Um, as I said, as you saw, her normals they range from pretty good to like pretty bad. So you, you're you're basically really inconsistent in like when you press things generally in a lot of mashups. There are matchups where you like have good normals all of the time. It's like pot, and that's kind of it. The rest of the time, it's like you're in hurtbox wonderland, or like, do will this work? Will, like a counter poke randomly from half screen from nothing? Who knows? Maybe. That's why a lot of dizzy. You try the dizzy player. A lot of neutral just this a lot. Because this is like the one good normal you have that's not inconsistent at all. This will always work. Um, so you'll do fish a lot. Something like a good diesel do is, um, if they put an air normal there, it would hit fish and not mean like I would twist them and I would have gotten hit. It's like a pretty like basic thing to do with this kind of thing. <coughs> but yeah, her normals, they range. Her air normals are really good. Being in the air is really strong at Dizzy, but the con with that is another one of her cons. Her air normal, like her air reward, very weak. Very, very weak. Um, so yeah, you do this. Like wow, look at that damage. And they get they take out. You don't get knocked down. No oki. Okay. Um You like an air throw sometimes? Ooh, you get knocked down. That's good. You get knocked down K fish. Cross up. Cool. But then you throw them this way. Okay, didn't I don't know how to I don't actually know how air throw does the air throw is like a mystery to me. I don't know what makes it knock down, what doesn't make it knock down. Do it in the corner. That one did knock yeah. down. So yeah, you get you get to do ice spike there to get the combo. Um so you get you don't get a kill off of that regardless. Yeah, TK bubble dash back to JS. I mentioned that earlier. It's really good, very strong. Um, <coughs> is it just untech? I don't know. It's like it's like it's like a combination of untech and like the screen scroll. Because I think um, I think what happens is if you th if she if she because she always throws them to the wall, right? Yeah. So if you throw them to the wall and they're too far away, the untech will run out like that. Against characters like Milia, it will just assume it will never knock down versus Milia. It will basically never knock down versus Milia. Like lightweights, it'll it just assume it won't. Always go for the, the something I had to learn. Just try to learn where you are on the screen if you air throw, like where to where you can like ice spike, like which ice spike to use. It can be kind of tough though. But yeah, air reward, no air knockdown. That's like the common one. I I only really consider air knock no air knockdown to be much of a con. Like, yeah, it's a weakness, but, like, if she had air knockdown, she'd be both really strong and really boring. So I think it's fair for her not to have that. Compared to the other characters. But, yeah, um... Then this is the most famous thing. This is what I want to talk about the most. Dizzy is humongous. Look at this fucking hurt box and she air dashes and shit. She actually covers so much of the screen. You get hit by so much shit. Look at this shit. Why is she so big? Why is Necro a hurt box? Why my wings are her box? You, you jump. Your tails are her box. You FD. Look at this fucking air FD her box. It's insane. I think she. I think Tarkus said she had the largest FD air her box in the game. I don't remember. But it's just really bad. It is really bad. You're so huge. You can't jump out of things a lot. If Cliff does far slash 623p a lot, you really can't get out. <laughs> it's like not threatening, so it's like not really used very often. But it's like you you can't jump. It is so annoying. Um, yeah. It's just really unfortunate how that happens. You're huge. But yeah, her pros. Their pros, she has a lot of damage. Her gambling, people always say her gambling and ice but does like a nuke. It's, it's average. We tested it, me and Noah. It, it's, it, that's like what most characters would get off of the same same kind of starter. But it's still good. Her, her definitely the big thing about ice spike is that you get a confirm off of this. Max range 2k, 5h ice spike is really fucking good. Especially once you have the FRC, which I can't hit because I'm windowed. Or borderless, yeah. But yeah, you get that. We're really strong. Um. <coughs> Sorry. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. J2 is really strong, obviously. Your animals, like we mentioned, are really good. It's a big con, big pro. 
What else is that Steve say? You c you could you control the pace of the game. Even like your bad matchups generally um oh well, like, soul is even, right? Like soul is from only whenever you did matchups. You still control like what what's like, you still control the neutral, even though I'd say like neutral isn't like particularly in Dizzy favor in that matchup. But he still has to like do what you want him to do. Like if I want him to run at me, he has to run at me. If I want to approach, he has to box. Which is like he's better at that, but I can still make him do it. <laughs> but yeah, um Again, Fish is really strong. It does a lot of shit. And her setup's really good. She's very good at dealing with reversals. Um and her meter use is also very strong. Like the Imperial Ray is really good, knives, bubble, S pick up RC. You can't hit it in neutral. But you get the point. Um, that's kind of the overview. That's kind of what she does. That's kind of how Dizzy works. Um, yeah. <clears throat> now I'm gonna ask. Do you guys have any like questions? Especially you, like Nini, and the other person in the Twitch chat, because I feel like you guys are newer than the other other people I'm teaching. Um. Or I'd like to focus on you guys right now, because this is this is mostly for you. In the sense that it's about like how Dizzy works and her moves and stuff. So any questions I'll take. And then I'll go over like basic Loki setups. Kai does smoke her dumbass normals. He, Kai is very good in terms of Dizzy just in general. Cause even with summon some he has really good tools to stop her from summoning. Which is like annoying. <laughs> That's good. Okay, yeah. Feel free to ping me anytime. I'm in the I'm in both both the plus R server and the in the teaching server, so I'll take questions anytime. I like talking about Dizzy, so I'm gonna go over a basic Oki right now, just for everybody to look at and see. I'm gonna like not spend too much time on it, cause you guys are like experimenting on your own a lot. But um, I would like to see some successful KD setups from you guys soon. So KD is really strong. Um. In corner or th mid screen works out a throw too. I'm gonna go around in a bit because it's a little different. But a corner obviously throw knockdown. You get it. Ice spike knockdown. You get it. You get it. Micro dash. The hard part is micro dash fish. It can get be really tough. So yeah. So off of KD, what you do? You dash fish. You jump forward and you get either a late air dash like that into an ender, or you get a land into into a low. That's just the basic. That's the basic mix-up right there. It's a 50-50. They can't fuzzy it. Very hard to block. It will sweep low-level players and even high-level players a lot. Um, it's very, it's very strong. Um, off of ice spike, you need to change it a little bit. So the, they could jump here because the fish are actually not meaty off of ice spike. The fish is meaty off a of throw. If I can hit the holy shit. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> Classic dizzy player. Can't even do quarter circle. Yeah, you do 5k and then you do the same mix up. You actually do the same thing. You just, you just have to remember to add the 5k. And instead of doing 2k CS 5h after the low, you just do 2k CS. Which is like, you can feel those out. Oh, your throw range is really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, it is really big. And your origin point's also really far forward, so it's like, it's like misleading, kinda. But it's really big. The guy in the chat asked about... Oh, reversal. question? Sure, 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 sure. Um, KD. I was going to... Yeah, I'm going to get to that. It is very reversal safe. So, to make it reversal safe, you want to do a normal... Well, let me make soul DP, actually. It would be smart of me. Whoops. So, the ice spike one is automatically reversal safe. Okay, HPV is a faster. Yes, it's faster. So, off of the ice spike one, you are automatically reversal safe because you 5k me. Um, oh, I didn't set to memory. I'm stupid. My bad. Reversal type, wake up. Reversal action, memory. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, I'm bad. I did. I, if you micro dash too far, it doesn't work like that. Like a moron. Yeah, fish. So, fish eats the first hit, and 5k recovers in time to block the DP. So, you just. So, what you do basically is if, if you think they're going to reversal, you just do that. 
And if they don't reversal, you just react to that and you, you react to the block of 5k and jump. And you're good. <laughs> One second. Yeah, I do those in 5k meteors, clearly. Okay, now off a throw, it's a little different. You could still do 5k meteor. It like, gives the same thing, but it like, misses kind of with the timing a little bit. Another one, variation you can do is 2k 421s. Um, if they DP the 421s, if I'm not bad, the 2k will whiff, the 421s won't come out, you'll block. If they don't DP, if they don't DP, you get four two one. You get two K four two one. You can do. You can use. The, you can release the four two one S when you air dash or like jump forward. I air dash because I'm. I like. I like air dashing after it because it just feels really good. It sets up the timing really well. Um. Um. If I'm not stupid, let me set this up. Yeah, you jump forward. You release that. It makes it. They, they get put in block stun during the gap basically. So it makes it for the gap you took. Um. If you space the micro dash fish correctly, you are not close. I am just messing up a few times because I, 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 my execution is really bad in training mode. I don't know why it's a phenomenon. I, I, I'm just really bad at hitting things correctly in training mode. So um, it's a little rough looking, basically. But yeah, they throw that throw 2k421 setup is important because it's also what you do off of throw mid screen. You get a cross up there. Yeah. But yeah, throw mid screen, do the same thing I just showed you. It's also reversal safe, 2k421s. You get a fake cross up, you get a cross up where you can. The fake cross up is kind of difficult. Um, to make it easy, you could just do you could just do air dash back, like back dash or air dash back there. It's like they can like react quotation marks, but they're not really gonna react in their Otherwise you can do like bubble. You can do air dash bubble. I can't do the input, it's really weird. It's like a, it's like the fastest air dash bubble possible. Like yeah. Or you can do this, which is always really funny. But yeah, that's a that's our normal like throw corner mix up. Two KD like the most important thing to learn, I think, in my opinion, at Dizzy. Very strong. I'll show mid screen mix of other knockdowns. I'll have two D. PD is really strong. All of these two K CSs can be sick throws, basically. So like um, if I'm without if they're blocking, I go oh. Ooh. And they get hit. You can finish the combo and get an under. It's really nice. Very strong. Very good. Um, that one's also DP safe if you do it correctly. It's, this one's harder to make DP safe. You can like technically just do this. Yeah, but it makes the timing hard. Um, you get it off of throw mid screen every knockdown in the corner. And your own the only two knockdowns you should be getting in the corner are ice spike and throw. If you're getting two H and two D in in the corner, just do ice spike after them. So I can either do a throw mix or a high left right. Yeah, that's off of two K for two S. Um and then off of two H, since you have such a big delay gatling window, you can do that, or delay cancel window, you can do D D. And you dash at them and you do a jump over this is it's good to know that this is not meaty because it has to be to be a cross up it can't be meaty right because cross protection and to fake the cross up you do this i did it wrong but you get the idea oh they hit wrong but yeah you do bubble they you stop over their head they don't they get cray crossed up if they start jumping out you can do this you just kill them or you can do this which is like a little bit more damage, but yeah, that's like the basic. That's like the, the, those three steps, like the trifecta of Dizioki. I feel at like the beginner level, they're really easy and effective, and they do give you really good reward and loop into each other, which is really nice. If you don't have, if fish is on cooldown and you get a hit, let's say like you do that. If it's on cooldown, just do knife. You can do knife cross ups. You can do knife strike throw. Occasionally, yeah, it, it's all very free for him. And then in neutral with fish, like you know what I said earlier, any combination of P, D, and H is really good. It will probably work in your favor. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Just like in the corner, 
if you do like if you just pretend like you don't have fish cooldown, if you do four two one s six h, it's basically you get you get to, you get to do jump forward and, and then release knife. It's the same thing as KD, but it's not reversal safe. Like you just summon knife. If you summon knife and just do basic strike throw, you'll you'll be fine. What you said about the you can fight the Nash TP after Dizzy Butt Slash. Yeah. That's like real, but nobody on Earth besides me. Only fucking X Phantom does it. <laughs> and X Phantom know about it. And like Tails of J. Only Haas players do it. I don't know why. Also, you can Dizzy does good. have real strike throw. 2k 2d is a frame trap. Yeah, so um, you can do 2k like. You can jump cancel 2d and just run away. Yeah. If they block it. Very good. You're very good. Um, that's kind of like. I don't really. I think for more teaching, I'm just gonna have to, like watch you guys play, like get questions over the time. Like next week, what I want to do, um, next week, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get in VC. I'm gonna watch you guys play play games online. I'm gonna stream it. And we're gonna, I'm gonna like, backseat you basically. But that's good, Izzy. Good job. That's perfect. In fact, awesome. Yeah, great. <laughs> Got you. I want a secondary for the stun time. Million on the game. Just to play kind dizzy. Awesome. I'm glad to see more, more dizzy players. Um, I'll. There isn't dizzy. There is a on the dizzy wiki. If you go to her strategy page, there is a or Oki page or whatever. There is a dizzy Oki semi bible with a million setups in it. Which range from really effective. Other great characters to play. No 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 no. Um, no cliff. No cliff. No cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, like, there's a gazillion, yeah, there's a gazillion steps in the Oki, in the Oki Bible. So they range in effectiveness with, like, it's up to you how much Oki you want. I play very, like, conservative on my Oki, I guess. I don't have super many setups. I, I like, I, I play, the, I use the good setups, and that's it. And it works. My offense is really strong because of that. I'm very consistent. I don't drop very often in, like, tournaments. I, when I get a knockdown, I win. But there's also like Esnuin or Anthix Mana or like Soup where we like do a million setups and that's like equally valid. Where it's like they praise and like the more defensive players who like struggle to get out of things. And it is it works just as well. It is a different way to do it. I Man, I can't do a blue loops today. It's unfortunate. Anyways, um Yeah. Any question is any any questions, of course, let me know. Um I will, I will, I will answer them. I will do more. I'll try to do one of these every week, hopefully, for the duration of the event. I like, I like this. This is fun. I like talking about Dizzy. She's cool. I like. I think Dizzy's pretty awesome, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it's big. Oh, I, I made this is the Dizzy. This is the Dizzy page. I'd read all this down. Um, this is the link at the top. I think is it there? Yeah, the Dizzy extensive setups rookies. I made that link is um. A big Bible with more setups than this. Yeah. Um, you can notice if you want. I'm not gonna tell you not to. Like, I don't think they would particularly help your play, but they're cool and they're fun and they they feel nice. I'll pin that. Uh, do I have pin permissions? No. I'll put this in Dizzy Resources. I was putting the resource channel. Yeah. Okay, well, um, that is most of what I want to talk about. Again, there seems to be no questions right now. Um, um yeah, it is cool. Dizzy's cool. I like Dizzy. So, yeah, I always say everyone play games. Try working on those three rookie setups I gave you. If you're going to do anything. Scythe, I went over this earlier. It's not very good. It's really hard to use. It's just, I would recommend, like, how would I do the looping infinite? True. The theoretical dizzy infinite, or the theoretical dizzy loop. Um, she has it. On justice. That's true. It's not infinite, though. I actually know it dropped. Yeah, yeah, it dropped, actually. Um, so, would you guys, either, I can, like, play, like, two games or something, if you want, to show it off. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Or I can, like, just play the CMV, and we can go. We can go home. It's up to you guys, really.
I'm the set. Okay, you you can go. You guys can go whenever you want now. So bye bye Z. I'll, I'll play. I'll play like two, one or two sets, and I'll play the CMV, and then we can. I'm gonna go E after that. I need to E. Yeah, I'm gonna go E. Right but. now, bitch. Fine. Oh wait. Fine. Yeah. I'm unmuting though. That's fine. You guys can all unmute. We can all talk. We can all. You know, have a silly time now. Feel free to. CMV, um, old CMV, um, coffin CMV. I'm going to play it on stream because it's funny and I like it a lot. I'll just do, I'll play like Sakuya Johnny, like one set, and I'll play the CMV. Is that fine with you, Noah? Yeah. I'll play, I'll play Akabane 21st Century Caesar Gamer. Oh, damn. Who is this guy? I don't know. This matcha? Okay, this is to Johnny. This matcha was also bad for Johnny. <laughs> oh, wait, going against her. Oh, okay, I'll play you after this person, and then we can. And one I can. And done. Yeah. You have the- wait, wait, you have the fucking- eight, Oh, it's eight. fine. I'm wait, cheating. Who cares? Am I? I know that's how it works. I thought- I thought you could, like, patch the game to, like... I'm gonna get banned. Oh, I'm getting banned. I thought if you had the hitbox, you were on. No, it's just not good for him because you can see stuff like that. I'm gonna get banned. No, I thought that Tom said, like, Fix Me Steve said literally that he's going to make the- make it desync if you have hitboxes on. He doesn't like it. He really doesn't like it if you play with the boxes on. Well, you're bad. Which is like fine. Yeah. I'm like I don't really care. It's not. I don't think. I don't it think. Also doesn't matter, matter versus when Johnny. You're Johnny. Yeah. At all. Yeah. <laughs> like wow. I get to see. I get to see in 4K definition that his JS hits me from 90% of the screen away because I'm humongous. It does matter for testament. I think it is like. It does matter for testament, but I'm not playing to fight testament right now. Oh fuck. Okay. We stop our way to victory. <laughs> By the way, Chloe, I was trying to say this earlier. Athena did update one version of the Hitbox Viewer to have the right color. And I think it was the one I sent you. But, but something broke with when the addresses changed. Fuck, I'm dead. Alright, show, show off your awesome setup. Oh yeah, be said I know if I mentioned that. He blocked low, that's fine. You know I'm not gonna block, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'll turn Chibok. I'm gonna let it run and done. I'll fight you Chloe now. I'm glad this stream worked. I never streamed before. I did not mean to rematch, okay, good. No, I don't mean to character select, I'm all def warring. I don't know what this guy actually don't know what's gonna appear on the stream now. It's gonna be black probably. It might be. I hope it's not my desktop. I don't. It's I don't want to stream my desktop. Okay, that's good. It's black. Is it back? It's back. Okay, it's, it's back. It's back. Oh yeah, true. He got a lobby link. Okay, we're gonna play two games because I'm gonna beat you twice in a row. What the heck? <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cheering for you on. If you were good at this game, you would win without S button only. I'm not gonna play no S button only. No, no J2S. It's not my fucking challenge. Gra. No, Twitch isn't blank. I know it's not blank. Yeah. Chloe's saying it's blank. You're gonna pick Soul? That's crazy. That's crazy? You're gonna learn. In this matchup, about this matchup. <laughs> the Brawl Soul players. You don't RS. Don't Lilith. RS. That's not Lilith. That's sending the wrong game. message. Do you say detected? <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> this cheater, cheater, dizzy player? What the hell? Steve, I'm forbidding you from doing RS. No, fuck you. No, that that'll send the wrong message. I'll do it I once. Want Chloe to do the right. The I right want Chloe to do the right, okay? But I also need to show his weaknesses. It's propaganda. You want to get it? Yeah, see, look at five H. I can't combo this character though. So you're fine. It's literally mashed too hard. 
The rod bike? The rod bike? Nice effort, that was really good. Oh shit! Holy shit! Nice idea to us, I was trying to throw you there. <laughs> yeah, so can go faster than Bubble. Dude, <laughs> Speed. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm in the back dash. I, I was going to hold you okay, I promise. Nice jump out. Nice jump, that was really Holy good. Holy shit. Okay, good. Okay, S fish, questionable, but I guess. That was actually that was actually kinda godlike. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna hit my fucking fucking mid mid string coffin. Not by you bitch. It's too broken. No, I got my dinner. Why did you back dash? You gave up Oki. No, you can do a mix up. No, you have to just jump. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta jump no. on those. You gotta jump slowly. You, you gotta jump. That's clean, eh? So fast. Um, I'm not gonna play for more than two games, you know, but you can join the lobby if Chloe's still there, I guess. Soul run. Yeah, you have to press 2K against Soul yeah. 2K. You got it. You gotta check Soul's run. Summoning in neutral versus Soul is really hard, especially at, like a low level. Could use runs at you. Oh my God. You press 2K. Good job. This is the bane of your existence. Facts. Somebody so this is the bane of my existence too. That was wait, do you just wait, who who is certified sixty three? I don't know, but they're burning disease, so they're my they're my friend now. <laughs> is that that is that how easy it is to become your friend? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know what to do there. It looks look weird. Nice and you show this. You were so stupid, you were so stupid. Dude, maybe I'm just the wrong people. <laughs> Just wait until you watch my Disney game play. Stop backdashing after a fish, just jump. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, Riot Stamp is really good against Dizzy. Yeah, like exceedingly so. But thankfully you're fighting Zappa, who can't Riot Stamp. Yeah, thankfully. Ah! That was actually insane. Uh oh. No, I can't do that. Fuck you. Jump. Yeah. Jump. jump. No, yeah. not falling, JS. You have to do air dash. You have to air dash, JS. Good. Nice. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice. No, it's this is broken. No. Okay, I need to win. I need to win the set. Play the CMB, so you're gonna have to wait anyway. Playing the CMB might like actually own the stream though. 
Please copyright, but we'll see. It's probably fine. Yeah! No, J2S, we're getting so close, we're getting closer. Every time you do it, you get closer. It's good. Fuck. It happens, I understand. That was a good bubble. That was crazy. Oh, you were too quick now. Bubble is really hard to use again, so... Oh, it's so over. No, I was supposed to be DP. Oh, it's Fuck. So over. That's fine. You can do, like, dash up pop on this thing, too. No, my dizzy. <laughs> oh, you suck. Oh, no, never mind. That Die. IK? You need a hundred meter for IK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, let me, let me load up the CMV. You're not going to be able to swing it on. You probably just ended it. Now we're cooking. I'm streaming on Twitch. I, I remember, I remember the fucking... Up. What do you mean it won't show up? Well, did you set your... Th I can totally to set it. my OBS to... Chrome. Okay, do it then. I'm going to and I pull up the fucking CME. Give me a minute, dude. Holy shit. What Cliff player would tell you Cliff Dizzy isn't even well, okay. walking? Who uh, said that? Dark Clon. There have been Cliff players that said Cliff Dizzy isn't even. I don't know what to tell you. They said slight Cliff, slight Dizzy advantage. It's like fine. Alright, how do I. I don't think that's that controversial. Well, I need like a window capture. Add window capture. Okay. Okay. All right. Can you see it? I'm not on Twitch. I actually closed your Twitch stream. What the hell? I need people to tell me if they can see it. If they can see it or not. I can see it. Okay, it's can you there. tell me, do you have audio? Play the video. Is there audio? Yeah, there's audio. Okay. Alright, we're gonna play the scene, me and we're gonna go. Are we watching it through Twitch? You can watch it through whatever you want. Oh wait, oh yeah, I forgot, I forgot, yeah, my bad. Yeah, that's my bad. This video is peak. Okay, it's a little cut off. I don't really care. I couldn't make it fit perfectly. I love Cliff. I hate Cliff. I don't fucking know. Soon. Are you still waiting on KT? Yes. Oh, yeah, and white ninja. Fucking white ninja. Dude. Yes, I didn't need like another thirty seconds, and he has a submission. He's been doing. He keeps telling me he's gonna get it done. He hasn't got it done yet. <laughs> Why can't she do that? I picked this song. Me and T5 picked the credit song, and Oreo picked the second song. Oh yeah, that's true. Oreo. Well, you made the final decision. Oreo, I made the final decision, decision, but like it was a good suggestion, and I give Oreo credit for the suggestion. How do I think about it? How do I think of it? Um, I don't know. I like the song. I listen to the song a lot, so I was like, I want to make a scene through the song. 
I'm kind of I'm kind of a vibe bassy and be composer. I don't know why fucking Dino you know, Five H is coughing. It's really fun. They're really fun to make. It's a pretty good video. Those combos always sick. I submit. Oh, I, I, I actually, actually submitted like, two have, clips. I got a clip today, though I don't know if I want to submit it because it makes me look like a moron. <laughs> I submitted two clips to the next one, Chloe. That's yes, two more clips I've submitted to that channel ever. So you're lucky. No, it's unbecoming of a soul player of my stat status <laughs> to do random tyrant rave after blocked BR. You should do it anyway. That's a good clip. Oh yeah, Chloe. This is a secret. Oh yeah, NT5. So I'm gonna be very vague about this, but I got a preview of the credits animation, and it was very, it's kind of peak. Can I see it? I was, I will DM it to you after the CMV. Awesome. Oh, you saw it, Chloe? That's good. Oh yeah, for side B, I'd like to do the credits. I have an idea. Um, we'll see how that goes. I don't know if side B is happening. <laughs> well. Well, what are you gonna yeah. do with all the submissions? Well, I'm doing part two. That's not. It's not like a joke. Like side oh. B would be. Is and part like, two not side B? Is that? I thought part two is a whole. It's a whole video. It's its own thing. Well, I mean, I could do the credits. I mean, oh, well, that's the thing. I'm not get... sure if if I have if I have. If I, well, my plan was to just put credits in like the end of the, the song. But like, if if there's if there's not enough room for credits like that, I'll let you do it for sure. What song are you gonna use? Is it still miserable? Yeah, probably. You know what, I'll spoil it, because it's not like it's that big of a deal, what I have in mind. Yeah? But I was going to do the Mega Man 3, like, Robot Master credits, little plus our character. Oh, that's what's awesome. Because <laughs> it's completely possible. Yeah. That's a pretty good idea. Does the one I'm doing count as metal? The the song I'm using for the mix-up CMV? Yeah. Is, is it Across the Isn't Rainbow Metal? Way? I guess kind of the point. The whole band. Yeah, is. that's true. Yeah, they, the they one. Make ten thousand songs that yeah. sound kind of the same. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, Nini, that's the CMV I'm making right now is metal. So you you you'll be you'll be able like to see spa, that. Man, it's like that. I don't think it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ska. I guess the ska make all the songs. Ska is the genre where every song is a remix of itself. Oh, well, listen the whole thing about like metal bands they make one song and that's like the song they make. Like, have you ever ever heard like ACDC? Every song they have is the same song. And like, in like Dragon Force. Dragon Force actually has one song. Every song sounds identical to that one song. I'm sorry for the secret like the secret Dragon Force fans in my Twitch chat right now. I'm making incredibly angry. I also want to do another clip five D C M D because I have ideas. Yeah. What if I do a soul five D C M D? Tell the fuck you use three combos, combos yeah. Good. 30 seconds CMV. This combo is so fucking good. I'm oh, it's so good. The Oreos submissions are so fucking good. TikTok CMV. Yeah. The thing about Oreo is that he's like, I got something, and he takes like two weeks, and it's like the craziest shit. Yeah. I think God Press might have been like, might have been Oreo. I got something, and then it, it takes like two months, but it's awesome. <laughs> he, 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 he make like a CMV out of like random clip clips? Oh yeah, uh, I didn't tell you T5 God press to me used I had to use a foot pedal to record his submission. He what? I used a foot pedal, like like he is pressing things with his foot to do the submission. Oh my god. <laughs> a Toki! 
<laughs> yeah, Toki. Although this CMV has a. Uh... Has the best credits ever. We're never topping this credit sequence. It's really good. I, I, had, I had so much fun making it. How would we do that? Toki? Is he's in the he's, he's Toki in Accent Core? Yeah, it is Toki. He's in the game. That's Mugen. That's Mugen. What it? it is Mugen, but it's funny every time it's Toki in Accent Core. I'm gonna remake the coffin CMV, and then all the people that were in it that I don't like, I'm gonna like black out their combos. <laughs> there's like there's like exactly. one person in there. There's only one person. Yeah. It is actually only one person. What if I blacked out your combo? What the hell? My combo's not even that good in this me. It's actually like a pretty weak combo. I think he was talking to me. No, oh. I was talking to you. you. Which, which one of your combo was T5? Oh yeah, I I'm did a lot of out, I'm blacking out Gorilla. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. That, that was my favorite thing. To Gorilla do. is awesome. I'm glad I can. I'm glad I can say I was the first person to put every time I touch to a fighting game CMV. It's pretty huge, I think. This will be relevant. Everywhere, so it's kind of shocking. I wouldn't be surprised. There was like a Brazilian Core CMV from like 2000 through, which with the, well, not not even 2002. Someone was probably now 2002. Whenever this song came out, you know. But the one I know. I mean, this combo sucks so bad, it's just so funny, because Kane never can watch the CMB, he's like, God, this combo sucks. But it's, like, kind of cool. This combo's goaded. Olive Oily spent a long time with this. No, if you Dolphin is so sick. I love how she, like, touches the ground, does he touches the ground so much? Oh, Jason Riot! Jason Riot! Jason Riot! This couple will be blacked out. <laughs> yeah. This is a Sidewinder if it was a good move. Oh, here's a gold jolly. Banger. That, that's so good. <laughs> I was actually inspired. Actually, the strongest, the, the fucking strongest intro to the credits ever. <laughs> Gorilla. That's a one-frame link, by the way. Yeah, yeah it's so Gorilla awesome. Gorilla airballing to Jeb. Darkhawk is Toki. The sequence is really good. This fucking... <laughs> Oh. Wait, oh, what happened to that one KT clip? Which one? In the the one with dog. Oh, I'm, I don't have the credits yet, so I can't put it in. Oh, I see. Wait, was it just gonna be in? The I was gonna play in the, the corner credits. of the credits. It's just gonna be in the corner. You move in. <laughs> hey. Because he was on hiatus when, when this was being made. Yeah. He was like, I'm, I'm glad you DM'd me to show me that credits image of me in it, and I didn't realize Yoon was in it until like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hate blood packing wall. Jamison. Yeah, I'm so glad they nerfed gun for me, plus our AC. True, Chloe. <laughs> It's fucking crazy that combo didn't kill from full health. It is. It's crazy how much of this is in beat too. Yeah. This 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 combo. <laughs> this combo's really good. This combo's cool. When I see the other Anji combo, that's the the one that Jin does every day of his life. <laughs> Rugo! Rugo! This combo was so crazy. Wait, did that start off an instant overhead? That's really funny. Yeah. I didn't know this. Rugo! Part. Fucking God press! God press! <laughs> I think we just started recording like mean coffin punishes and it just got yeah. out of control. Yeah, <laughs> it was a good time. There was a bunch that we had to cut too. Yeah, there was a gazillion. There was, there was, there was like, we could have done this whole credit sequence with just DOA Fighters 2. DOA Fighters 2, yeah, I mean like... There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's go reload clip. Oh my god, like, that's stunning.
Chico! <laughs> Why is she coughing there? Why would you do that, Dizzy? Oh, this is oh, really good. Hey, 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 Oh, I yeah, fucking got GGX working for this. <laughs> Don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> it's so good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> so, so Bird said they can't do one for the current CMV, but Kent, Kent's gonna do one. So it's fine. What the fuck is Kent? Yeah, yeah, I'm not telling you. It's really good. It's a good idea. He actually does it. It's so good, I love this. I love that it drops, I love that it drops so much. It's so good. Yeah, what a <laughs> wonderful video. Uh, Alright, thank you, thank you stream, thank you guys for going yeah, to Yeah, they drop every single link in that combo. Yeah. It's really funny. Anyway, thank you for coming to my Dizzy lessons. I hope it was helpful a little bit. At all. Thumbs thank up. you for watching, yeah. Okay, thank bye, you for bye. chat. Bye bye everybody. Bye. Bye.